My name is Kate. We have a business called Living Room, specialises in upholstery. Living Room is a um, workshop and showroom in Wellington. We try and make it very bespoke and really do want the finished piece of work to be as best as it can possibly be. My name's Nick. I'm from Innate Furniture. My name's Guido Loeffler. At Innate Furniture, we manufacture very sustainable furniture with simple designs so it keeps the price down, but they're still really high quality. One of the challenges that we have at Living Room is we have to operate a very, very detailed schedule and keep an eye on exactly where we are, but the limitations of the tools that we're using really have an impact on the efficiency of our business. The current system is bursting and there is a better way to do it. My goal for the living room is for them to take the model that they have now into a digital form and to maximise the efficiencies. Digital systems should make life easier and really streamline any processes that already exist. We just want the schedule to be a joy and Workshop knows which jobs are coming up for them so they can anticipate their workflow. We haven't identified a model that would be appropriate to how we do things here. I'll just grab a quote form. Right. So, um, so we always start um, you know, with a form, with our customers' details, and then we also just write any notes about the piece. We print out the schedule for the week, and we find the, um, the jobs that we have um, booked. We're well aware of the limitations of the systems we use, and so you know, we're aware that you know, there is another step, but obviously when you're busy, you don't resolve what that step is. And because we're not aware of other businesses exactly like Living Room, it means that what would be a usual system might not fit for how we operate. You can work off a bit of paper, and you can run a have a smooth system, but when you're business is growing so fast, there's a lot more chaos and so there has to be a lot more order implemented into maintaining that. Any small business owner can probably feel time poor quite often. It's specifically the use of these tools that end up opening up more time. When our business first took off, we had a whole bunch of orders um, very quickly and we didn't have a system for managing that. So we had a good look and there's quite a few different apps and softwares that can be used to streamline and make that really simple. So we use monday.com. Everyone in the workshop has this app on their phone and they can always see the full production schedule in real time. Do you think this tool is most suitable because one of the elements of Living Room is it's, we have a number of different facets, but they have a knock-on effect to the production. So you have to go through the process of really obviously looking at it and be like, is this something that is actually going to make life easier or does it make more complex? And spending a little bit of time, yeah, even if it's two or three hours. Yeah, because you don't want anything to be too cumbersome or too no. complex for mm. what you're needing. Well, so what would our groups be? We split ours up by weeks. Have you found it to be quite slow, like the actual, like, logging in? No. So that's quite different from something which you can quantify. I think priority is really useful. I think status, like whether yeah, it's underway. That would be live with downstairs. You can change the status to say that you've signed it off, that it's really, you know, it's being checked in the workshop. Because we want to be more integrated too. The set aside maybe an hour a week where you sit around and all start wrapping your head around what the program can do. So as long as it's flexible, then um, it would be ideal. Yeah, that's me. I've got everything. It's all at my fingertips now. It's really inspiring to see how it could work. It'd be a real relief to set up a new program and breathe some fresh air into a process that had a lot of pressure with it. You know, I was actually quite surprised at how similar our businesses are. I think the perception of going digital is a scary process. My encouragement with that would be to start with Googling, with YouTubing, just seeing what apps are available and what benefit they can bring to your life. Finding the simplest tools and starting small, but regularly checking out on them is probably more effective than putting it off forever because it seems too big. Setting aside the time to customise it, um, to work with you know, the different spheres of our business, which now we're very inspired to do, I think everyone would just run with it. There'd be no looking back.